Today, I am super excited to share with you one of my all-time favorite comfort food recipes that is perfect for a cold January day. It's my vegetable minestrone, and the best part about it is that it can all be made in your slow cooker. Basically, all you need to do is toss all your ingredients in, give it a quick stir, and then the slow cooker does all the work. As you know, every Monday through the month of January, I'll be sharing delicious slow cooker recipes just like this one. And the best part is they are all entirely vegetarian, so they are perfect for Meatless Monday. To my slow cooker, I'm going to add some finely diced onion, celery, and carrot. To that, I'm going to add some zucchini, some white beans, and some diced tomatoes. To this, I'm going to add some garlic and then top it all with some vegetable stock. It already smells amazing. I'm going to season it really simply with some Italian seasoning, some salt, and some pepper. This soup is so hearty, it can stand up to quite a lot of seasoning. So I'm gonna give this a really good stir, put on the lid, and then set my slow cooker to low for six to eight hours. The longer it simmers, the more delicious it becomes. About 20 minutes before it's finished cooking, I'm going to add some cooked quinoa. Now I'm using quinoa in this recipe because I wanna keep it entirely gluten-free, but you could use pasta or some rice or some barley. Those would all work just as well. Now this soup is beautiful when served immediately, or you can freeze it for up to six months. It's a perfect make-ahead meal for a night where you just don't feel like cooking. I hope you'll give this delicious soup a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. Speaking of Instagram, if you haven't followed me there already, be sure to follow me at The Domestic Geek One because every day through January, I am sharing a brand new smoothie recipe and they are all absolutely delicious. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from. Go soup! Woo!